everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, skins on your cracked version of Minecraft for version 1.8.8. .8. Um, if you haven't seen on how to get this game, uh, we have a video on our channel showing you how to get it, but I'm assuming you've seen it, so I'll just jump right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is open up Minecraft and load up a, a world. You can make a test world, you can use one of your own. Um, just make sure it's up to date and when you're done that you can just close out of it. And you're gonna want to come to your desktop and you're gonna want to go down to your Windows start and type in percent app data percent press enter. You're gonna want to go to dot minecraft go down to versions go to the most recent version which is 1.8.8 .8. right click on that version go to copy go down below it and go to paste and take your copied folder go down to rename and rename it whatever you want I'm gonna name it test for this video double click to open highlight both of the full files excuse me right click and re right click and rename to whatever you named your folder I named it test so I'm gonna name both these test you want to open your note or your JSON file with notepad because that's the easiest to use and you're gonna see all this gibberish and you're gonna want to go to where it says 1.8.8 .8 and rename it to whatever you named your folders so I named it test I'm gonna rename it test and I'm just gonna save it and close and what you're gonna do is go up to your executable jar file right click open with WinRAR um, I will have a link in the description for downloading WinRAR and you're gonna get all this, so you're just gonna go over to the meta-inf, right click, delete files, yes. And it's just gonna run through the deleting process. And what that does is allows you to install mods and skins and all of that. And next you're gonna wanna double click on assets, Minecraft, textures, entity, and you're gonna come down and you're gonna look at the Steve skin. And your Steve skin is gonna be regular and then it's gonna have these extra little bits. So what you're going to want to do is open up your favorite skin downloading website. I will put a link to this website in the description and download whatever skin you want. So when you have your skin downloaded, you're going to uh, download a template that we have. And it's really small. It'll take like two seconds to download. And you're going to want to open this template in whatever editing software you want to use. I'm going to use GIMP because I don't have Photoshop and I don't overly want to use paint. So when you open it, it's going to look like this and you're going to have all your tools and layers and you're going to take your skin that you downloaded. So this is the skin that I downloaded. Take that skin, go over to GIMP, go file open the skin. Uh, you're going to open the skin. Make sure you have your skin layer selected. I'm just going to zoom in on this a little bit. Make this bigger so you can see. So you're going to have your skin layer selected. Control C. Click onto your skin template. Control V to paste. Come over to your layers where it says floating selection. Right click and click to new layer. And you're going to want to take your um, whoops, moving tool, whatever you want to call it and make sure you have your pasted layer, so your skin layer drag it up so it matches up with the uh, template so the head is over the bright red right arm, body, legs everything like that. This is just for um, extra um, textures, I guess stuff that's on top of the head what you're going to do is, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see um, make that a little bit bigger, here we go what you're going to do is make sure you have your pasted layer selected Yeah, make sure it's selected. Go over to the um, selection tool, rectangle select tool, and you're going to copy the uh, legs, I believe. No, these are the arms. Arms or legs, whatever they are. You want to select them. Make sure you have your skin layer selected. Press Control C, Control V. Come over to your floating selection, to new layer. You are move tool and drag it down to the uh, light blue. So the whatever's on the left side, you're going to drag it to the left, corresponding down to the bottom. Go back down to your pasted layer, do the same thing, select, 
select copy paste to new layer go to your move tool drag it down and there you have it that's all you have to do you can hide the layer and that's what it's supposed to look like so you go down to file export as um, you can just name it Steve skin just so you know what to look for um, export it to somewhere where you know export export and then you can minimize all this I'll move this all out of the way don't need that don't need that don't need that so now you have your new Steve skin double click and as you can see it looks like the original Steve skin and what you're gonna want to do after that is open up your jar file take your Steve skin I don't know why this is. Uh, take your Steve skin and go to rename and just name it as Steve press enter and you're gonna want to drag it in to where your old Steve one is drop OK and that is it you're gonna want to close that uh, don't need that and then open up your Minecraft and in your launcher you know where it says version come down to release test and that's um, what it did what all that did is copied the um, version into a new version it's still the same version it's just named differently so you click on that it still has all your saves um, all your worlds and stuff like that and then you're just gonna click on play and it will uh, change your skin for you so I hope you guys enjoyed that video I hope it was helpful and if you guys have any questions um, put them in the comments and enjoy thanks guys